to do my makeup and stuff and then right over here we have what used to be my makeup bag which I have makeup in there as well some of that makeup in there could be expired I haven't used it in so long so I'm excited to finally get rid of some of that stuff that I don't use anymore or that is old or expired whatever it may be I'm excited to organize everything because I've had makeup all over this house so I'm excited to do this, so if you're excited to watch, then keep on watching. But before you do, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my upcoming uploads. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And let's get into this video because I can't wait to finally organize all this mess. My dreading the most so it's the part that I'm gonna do first so I could get it over with so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cleaning the things that I am keeping and I'm gonna put it on top of the vanity and then I'm going to organize everything step by step okay guys so this blush I even forgot I freaking had it so thank god that I'm going through this this is the NARS orgasm which is one of my favorite blushes ever it's so pretty Okay, so I'm gonna keep these two because these two work, but this one's dried out. So this one's going in the garbage. This highlight is not my favorite, but it's been so long that I can't even return it anymore. Yeah, these still work, okay. These Marc Jacob liners, guys, are so freaking good and creamy and amazing. I love them. I forgot I had these. Oh my God, what the hell's wrong with me? been looking for you this is such a pretty lid shade for bridal oh my god I forgot I had this too definitely keeping that all of these Kylie concealers they have to be expired because I've had them for so long so I'm getting rid of all of these I feel so bad when I have to throw on makeup this lip gloss over here also wasted garbage um, this is expired that's how you know when your makeup is expired too, ladies. If it starts like separating like that and looking all gunky and weird, you throw it out. This I still use. This is still good. Mm, this is still good. If you ever get clients or even yourself, if you have any redness on your skin, it's good to use green color correctors. This right here is 
such a freaking good palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. This basically, you could literally combine and make any shade of the freaking rainbow that you want. If you guys wanna see a video on me just doing different shades of these lipsticks, just in case that you have it and you wanna learn how to use it, let me know and I'll do a video. This is what I used to use to do brows, guys. Instead of the Benefit pencil, I used to use this, the Duo um, powder. I'll keep it for an emergency. I got this lip color from Morphe, but I ended up not liking it. My mom would love that, so I'm gonna give that to my mom. This little Kat Von D lip gloss I got in an Allure Beauty box. Oh, that's actually cute. What shade is this? Ludwig? This shade is actually really pretty, look. I'll keep it. I never even tried it. This was a gift from a client, guys. This is a Dolce & Gabbana Nude Monica. I freaking love this nude. This is such a pretty color, like to put on the center of your lips. This highlighter from Kylie is so pretty. This is the shade Santorini. And if you want a beaming highlight, this is it. This is from the Kylie uh, collection when she came out with the lipsticks and I thought that this was such a pretty summer color. So I'm definitely keeping this. And there's a peach one, I'm keeping that also. This shade by MAC, Humid, is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful green color. If you haven't tried it, try it. I love this so much that I bought it as a single. Oh, that's expired. Oh my God, guys, I have a freaking brand new silk canvas here. I can't believe that crap. Okay, I also have a brand new eyebrow pencil. This spray from Kylie, this is so cute, but I believe the smell of it was too strong for me. This Scandinavia spray, they say is amazing for bridal. I tried it, I didn't really like the finish it gave the makeup, but I'm gonna give it a shot one more time when I start working again and see what's up. This right here, the RCMA powder, which I already went through two of them. I love this powder. Disposables, always need them. So I got this in an Allure Beauty Box also. I tried it, I didn't like it. The Professional uh, by Benefit also got it in a box and I didn't like it. So this is the Marvelous Moths from Dose of Colors which I was surprised. I did not enjoy the pigment and the texture of these eyeshadows because Dose of Color shadows are usually really good, especially the Frankation palette but I was not a fan of this one, so I'm gonna give this one to my niece, maybe she likes it. If you've never tried this, this smells so amazing. This basically is to like refresh your makeup, because honestly, this is not a setting spray. It does absolutely nothing for the makeup. It just smells good and it feels refreshing on the face. That's about it, but I'm keeping it. It's good to have in your purse. Oh, I bought this lip gloss from Express. Such a pretty color, definitely keeping this. I was actually looking for this, and it smells so good too. This, this is an empty, there's nothing in here. I got this in an Allure box also. Eye lights, Model Co. I don't even know what this is. Looks like an eyeshadow, but it's dried out, so garbage. These are all samples. You see, these are all the type of things that I used to get in the Allure beauty box, like tiny stuff. And then they end up somewhere in a box like this because I don't pay attention to them. But I'm gonna try this because this is the Pro Filter from Fenty Beauty. And I've been wanting to try this just because everybody's obsessed with Fenty, so. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Primer and Moisturizer. Okay, so I could try these two things. Another MAC pencil. 
engraved. I'll give this to my mommy. Cargo Cosmetics, Napa. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Yeah, that's pretty. I'll keep this. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. That's crazy, man. The makeup that I have in here, and I don't even know. Oh my god. This is brow gel. This is old, I think. Yeah, this is old. This is garbage. And then, what is this? Mali Evercolor Shadow Stick. Oh, I tried this. Oh my god, that looks so pretty. And so creamy, too. Look at that. It's a nice bridal color. Okay, keeping this. Okay, guys, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab like everything that I have in box. I want to put that in the last drawer of the vanity. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all the Demi Wispies right here in this last drawer. See how the vanity has three big drawers and three little ones? So all the, all the things in bulk, I'm just going to put them in this big drawer. Then I have these main ones over here. Putting these here. There. Uh, what else do I have in bulk? Oh, my wipes. Okay, so I'm gonna put my wipes in here too. Let me see if it closes. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Gotta optimize space. Okay, the wipes there. And then I have these products that I took advantage of sales and stuff. These are all like the same lip gloss and lipsticks all like to replenish throughout time. But it's things that I use all the time. So I want to make sure that I always stock up when there's sales. So I'm going to be putting these brand new products in here as well. Okay. Um, I also have... This box, as you guys know, is one of my favorite palettes. It's the Tarlet in Bloom. So something that I stuck up on also goes in here. I'm also going to be taking things out of my Zuka bag, right? So I also have this brand new pencil in there. And I have this one too. I'm going to be putting that also all the way down here. All right, so that's it for the items that go in that drawer. Okay, so in the next drawer, I'm going to put products that I don't use on a daily basis but that I still want to keep in my collection and the reason why I'm putting the stuff on this side of the drawer first is because when I do makeup I do it from here so the client sits where I'm standing so it's easier for me to access these drawers and take things out to do makeup rather than go around her and access these drawers so I'm making sure that I put everything on this side I don't think I have enough stuff to use those drawers yet but let's see i have to get drawer organizers eventually i should have gotten it for this video but this over here loose glitters loose pigments i'm gonna be putting this anastasia beverly hills lip palette also right over here the rcma it goes here okay the scandinavia spray going back and forth they have drawer organizers to put the lipsticks I'm gonna get that and then I guess I'll do like an updated door and I'll show you guys like the drawer organizers and all the lipsticks put in place and everything but for now this was basically to organize everything and declutter so that was the most important thing
utensils like together in the drawer so i need like a little tray within the drawer because or else they're just gonna go everywhere and it's gonna look horrible so for now i'm just gonna keep it in the same zuka bag where i had them so yeah let's go on to the next drawer um, on these top three drawers of the vanity i want to keep things that i use constantly and i want them basically in the order in which i apply the makeup so since i put all the lipsticks in the third skinny drawer i'm gonna go ahead and put like all the setting powders powders for the face blush contour bronzers and highlighters i'm gonna put in the second drawer and yeah all the foundations and concealers and everything on the first one with the primer okay so let me just put all the powders here that way i know what i'm putting in the drawer blush highlighter blush highlighter and then basically this whole stash of the zuka bag which is all powder products want it easy want it badly but i can get what i want too much pressure too much pleasure but not much to rely on your love ain't free it's killing me i want it to end up put all the Kylie powders on the top where you can see the makeup because since it's pink it just goes with the aesthetic okay guys so the first drawer is going to be primers foundations concealers and contour cream contour to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I putting my eyeshadow palettes i'm gonna be putting my jacqueline hill the old one here because i have a brand new one over here that i'm gonna put on top the pretty one so i'm gonna be putting that right over here and then i have this used one but i'm gonna put this new one see up here The KKW and Mario palette. Urban Decay and the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I'm gonna be putting it right over here. The Natasha Denona Tropics palette. Alright, so I'm putting these also in here. And this one goes right here. This one goes here. And then I have these two Morphe palettes. So I guess I'll put them right under the Jacqueline Hill one right here. And yeah, that's it for the eyeshadow drawer. So I think the James Charles palette, I'm gonna put right here because it's matte and it just looks so freaking satisfying to look at. All that goes on the drawers on top. Okay guys, so finally I filled all the drawers. I have all my makeup organized. That's something I've been wanting for so freaking long. But I do have to get drawer organizers. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably be doing like an updated video on that. And I'll give you guys a little peek on how everything finally looks with the drawer organizers. Okay, so in the first drawer, I'm gonna put my baby, the Jaclyn Hill palette, but this is the new one. 
tight. Look, ooh, that's nice and fresh. Look at that. What a beauty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting that right in the middle. Okay, so right here we have the Jaclyn Hill highlighter palettes. So I'm gonna be putting that right over here. These are the mood light powders. So I'm gonna be putting this right over here. Let me lower this a little bit this way actually. That way I could put the vault like this. And now guys, I bought these crystals from Hicks Nurseries in Long Island. So I'm just gonna throw these randomly like this. I guess this is like my Jaclyn Hill little shrine right here. So guys, I just realized that I had big crystals of these. So I'm actually gonna throw in some big ones like right there and then take some of these little ones out. And then just throw in a big one there. And then a big one here, take these out. this drawer I want to put the James Charles palette up here right and then the iconic London right there like that that looks fire So I decided to add this just because it matches and then this one right over here. I just think it looks cute. And now it doesn't look that empty. Um, okay, so for the pink drawer, I'm gonna be putting the Huda Beauty, let's say. The Amrezy and the neutral palette right over here. You say, Take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Okay, guys, and now I'm just throwing the crystals. I was going to include these, but then it just looks too crowded. So I just want to leave this drawer like soft pink and then this Huda Beauty palette, the cover is just so beautiful. So I want to keep it just as is. Let me put a little more crystals. Later it comes later dear For me 
for part three of building my makeup studio slash beauty studio, however you guys want to call it. I am so happy and I feel so productive that I finally got this over with and I finally organized and decluttered all of my makeup. I threw some out, I'm giving some away. All of my makeup is now organized, very easy to access and the top is so beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to finish and show you guys the final product of the whole studio. Stay tuned for part number four because that will be the final video of this series and I will be showing you guys the last touches i filmed today this look that you guys see right here so stay tuned for that and guys stay safe out there do productive things that keep you happy and keep you motivated and in a good state of mind today i did my makeup and i feel like myself again i feel so happy and yeah i hope that you guys are enjoying this series i am in love with the way the studio is coming out little by little and yeah i don't want to make this outro too long so thank you guys for all your support don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my upcoming uploads give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below what was your favorite part of the video thank you so much and have a beautiful day or night depending on where you are Mwah.